The questions include one, why the Prime Minister and State Enterprise Minister Ben Micah have not disclosed the patches of the diesel generators to Cabinet in December 2013, two, why that 50 million kina was wired to LR Group and not Israel General Electric Corporation, three, why the tax clearance certificate by IRC was to the benefit of this company when LR Group was the beneficiary of the tax clearance, four, why IRC issued a certificate when Israel General Electric Corporation had not applied for the certificate, five, why Bank PNG facilitated and effected the transfer of 50 million kina to LR Group when they did not possess a valid tax clearance certificate, and six, why the Prime Minister stated in the NEC decision that the two 15 megawatt power generators were revised upwards to 26.2 megawatt generators costing 94 million kina. Other questions raise whether there was no evidence that NEC approved the 50 million kina paid to LR Group, no contract between LR and the state to supply power generators to PNG, no contract between PNG Power and LR Group, no public tender called for the supply of the generators, other relevant agencies like the Central Supply and Tenders Board and Attorney General were not consulted, and that the Prime Minister had no powers to commit more than 50 million kina. We maintain that the, uh, the Prime Minister has uh, breached all protocols, all processes and procedures of procurement in this country, uh, breached the Public Finance Management Act, and uh, to an extent uh, made an unilateral decision. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill on April 15 this year said, the 50 million kina was part payment and was still in a trust account at the Central Bank of PNG and will be transferred once the Israelis get the generators installed and running, including the balance of 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 44 